Hey, so this is day 297, something like that. Okay, so what I actually want to talk about today is the last week I was doing a series where I was like, you know, how to tap into the light when you're either in the darkness or when you're just coming out of darkness. And so I actually had another thing I wanted to share with you about that. Hi, Bianca. Glad you could join live. Um, and so the what I want to talk about is like, I think it's part four because we already did gratitude. We did meditation and then we did plugging into um, the, you know, the people or the podcast or the books that inspire you. Uh, you know, the coaches, the mentors that you want to plug into. So this is part four. So part four of plugging into the light during the darkness or right after darkness is stimulating your senses. So we have five senses and then there's also the sixth sense, but five senses, our sight, our smell, sight, smell, touch, and hear. And so it's important to stimulate those into doing things that light you up, that feel good, because that creates this like positive energy that comes right through you. And to be, we, I find that we sometimes live our life so unaware of our senses, of what we're doing day to day, that we kind of, we're just going. But if we kind of created this like conscious way of being very mindful, of what we bring in through our senses, especially when we're tapping and want to tap into the light. What are some of the things that you love to smell, for example? What are some of the things that smell so good to you? And how can you bring that to your day to day? Is it lighting a candle? Is it having some incense? Is it baking bread or muffins because you just enjoy that smell? How can you bring that to your day to day? In terms of hearing, like, what do you love to listen to? Do you love listening to, you know, certain types of music? Do you love listening to, like, inspirational speeches? Like, what are some of the things that you love to listen to that kind of bring you this sense of warmth and joy? Uh, then we got touch. Touch. Like, what do you like to touch? I love, like, cozying up with a blanket or is it, do you love like putting on like reading socks? Um, or sometimes just like going outside if, it, if it's not winter, going outside and like having your feet touch the ground. What are some of the ways that you like to touch things? And how can you bring that more into your life? Uh, then we got sight. And so what is it that you love to see? And is there certain things you love to watch? What is it that brings you joy around that? But then also in terms of sight is that like if you're like in your living space and it's there's a lot of clutter, for example, how is that like how is that affecting your sight? Like does that actually like looking at the clutter, does that actually like not make you feel good? Does that how does that Feel. And if that is the case, how can you declutter it? How can you organize it a little more? And it is so in important that sometimes like, yeah, you know, things get a mess. We get busy. Life goes on and on. And we just don't realize how sometimes like clutter, especially in our own space, in our own environment, can have this effect on us. Ooh, okay, so Bianca said here, I love skin on skin or skin and grass and sand. Oh, that's that's beautiful. I love putting also my feet in the sand, like that that feeling of like kind of like really like dipping your feet in the sand. Oh, it feels so good. Um and then yes, skin on skin. I love that as well. Like that is really nice. I actually sometimes just like, you know, kind of like just touch like my you know, area and then that just feels good. Um and so, yeah, so we were talking about sight. And so, yeah, so what do you love to see? Like, do you also love to see, like, landscape? Like, if you get yourself out in nature, do you love to see, 
you know, a, a cityscape. Like, do you love seeing all the tall buildings? Like, going somewhere and you can see, like, the entire skyline. Do you love looking at mountains? Do you love looking at the ocean or the river flowing? Like, what is it, the things that you love to look at? Um, and then, okay, so we had sight. We did touch. We did smell. We did hearing. And taste. Okay, last one. Taste. What do you love tasting? What do you love to eat? What do you love putting, like, tasting in your mouth? Like, do you love, you know, certain foods? And, like, what kind of foods do you love to taste? Like, how can you add that more? Is there anything you love to drink? Like, for me, drinking tea. Like, I love drinking tea in the evening. Like, while I'm cozing up and watching Netflix. Like, that to me, like, having tea, watching Netflix while a candle is lit in the corner. The lights are dimmed. I have, like, my cozy blanket over me. That, to me, is, like, the perfect, like, cozy night in for myself. And that is stimulating all my senses in such a positive way. And so think of that and being intentional. The more intentional about it, the more you're like, ooh, this feels really good. The more you tap into that space of gratitude, the more you tap into that space of love, love for yourself, love for your environment. And so back to that taste Cake and tea. I love that, Bianca. Cake, cake is super yummy. Um, I love, whoop, whoop, sorry about that. We got a low battery notification. Um, I love cheesecake. Cheesecake is one of my favorite cakes. <laughs> so yeah, so what do you love to taste? Like, do you, like, what is it that you love? Like, when you, like, taste it, you're like, hmm, that tastes so good. Um, and so these are ways that you can stimulate your senses. And by stimulating those senses in these very simple, simple ways, they don't cost you anything. They don't cost you anything. There's just like things, the more conscious you become of them, the more it, it feels good. And it is such a good space to like tap into, especially if you are in the darkness, if you are in the depths of the depths of the shadow work, it is it kind of those small little things bring you joy and they really do and even if you could just like do one of the senses like just be more intentional one of the senses doesn't mean you need to go and focus on all five doing one it's just like it's still that enough of like tapping into that light tapping into that little piece sitting in front of a fireplace or laying in a warm bathtub oh i love those two as well oh my god i love bathtubs Bathtubs are they're like my happy place. Like, and sometimes I'll put like um, crystals near, like when I'm taking a bath. Like, not in the bath because some some crystals are not good in water. But I'll put them like on the side, and then I usually have like a candle going, and it's just like so nice and cozy. Um, and then I'm a sucker for fireplace. I'm like manifesting for my next place to have a fireplace because I've been manifesting for a fireplace for a really long time. And so that is like on my manifestation list. So Bianca, you're hearing me. This is one of my manifestations. I, next place has to have a fireplace. <laughs> um, and so yeah, if this video, if you love this video, um, if it made you feel all the goodies, uh, please like, share it, comment, whatever feels like, even save it, save it for the future. Um, I appreciate it. You all thank you so much, Bianca, for joining me live and sharing some of the things you love to do. I really appreciated this. And I will speak to you all tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, talk to you all tomorrow. Have a good night.